That's awesome. I bought this truck on day one, but it back ordered before I got mine ordered. So I literally had to wait two months for this to come. Um, and obviously it's been out more than two months. I have been distracted by other amazing releases and cars on the channel and I was like, Nate, this is the best looking Axial SCX24 they make. I, I agree. need to drive this. And you guys love this creek bed spot, so we thought we'd bring this here too uh, to show you guys. But believe it or not, as of filming, this is in stock. So is that Jeep. It's that never it's never in stock. It's never in stock. I've never seen these in stock. They're always backward, but I love these. This is like my favorite RC ever. <laughs> I love my 24s. This is the 1967 Chevy C10. It comes in this like awesome teal green kind of color, but they have it, I think in a silver too, but yeah. I don't know why you'd buy the silver because this- I don't know, the gray looks good too. This but looks, this, this this is the better this choice. This looks so good, I love it. Comes with a uh, chrome roll bar and a light bar you can put on too, but we opted out just, just for now. I actually didn't even want to get this dirty, but I'm taking one for the team. No, he's talking. <laughs> <laughs> She's funny. So yeah, I cannot believe these are in stock. If you guys appreciate our videos and enjoy them and want to support our family, then click the link down below if you want to buy one of these. Um, it helps support our channel and that means the world to us. And that way we can keep providing you awesome videos. It doesn't cost the people watching a single extra penny. You can't beat it. Yep. I also want to give a shout out to our patrons because they're who, they are the ones who bought this for me. This is a patron sponsored truck. So thank you guys for supporting us. If you wanna become a patron family member, that'll be linked down below and at the end of the video. I'm excited. I am too. Goodbye okay. clean Let me look at this. ish tires. The front of the truck is what looks so good. You said it came with some extra stuff too. Nate opened this for me. Well, I, I already addressed that. Oh. The chrome roll bar and the light bar up top. It's a good looking truck. It's got their little logo on the side. Yeah, we usually don't stop and drool this much, but I think it needed needed to be shown. This I think is... this one looks better because the lights are not in like a bumper. It's in like the chrome piece. Although I'd mm. rather see, have seen them up here. It's still the bumper, but they made it chrome. And yeah. I think that made a big difference. Yeah, it looks cool. Yeah. Yeah, how cool would it be if they had actual running headlights? Those are just decorative stickers. All it's missing is like interior driver right, and stuff. Right. Dash, that would look really oh, cool. Okay, let's drive. The bed even looks good. The bed of the truck. I don't know. I think when I, when I drive a crawler, one of my favorite things is a pickup truck. I just, I think there's not enough pickup truck crawlers that are like ready to run axial. In other words, come on. I mean, ten, the ten only reason this is mine is because I saw it online first. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, damn. I didn't even know it was out. She must have woke up before me that day and <laughs> boom, snatched it up. She just sends me pictures sometimes and she's like, mine, are you kidding? <laughs> I didn't stand a chance. Whatever. And then, and then two days later, I'm like, that's my new airplane right there. Just so you know. And she's like, okay. <laughs> that's kind of how we do things. Whoever sees it first. And every now and then it just catches us off guard and maybe we fight oh, yeah, over it. I just pushed that yeah, rock that over. was pretty sweet. If you guys are unfamiliar with these little things, as far as Axial goes, I think it's probably one of the smartest things they could have ever made because this appeals to everybody. They're four wheel drive, they're really soft tires, they're soft shocks, and uh, they're completely ready to run. So I said this in the little yellow vehicle video too, but just in case you're not a subscriber, it's you're- It's a Jeep, mate, it's a Jeep. The Jeep, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh it's ready to run you've got batteries for the transmitter uh, i didn't approach that well let me get the tire on it the battery for the truck and the charger for the truck you literally need nothing else are you actually gonna get this one wet here we go it's wet i like the pickup truck it's my favorite you know what so I... a lot of people say that crawling is boring no, this is boring no. but like look i can't pass that i didn't approach it right you really have to think and plan ahead with crawlers because if I get my tire on that, most likely there you go. can conquer there you it. Go. You gotta place your tires. It's almost like a puzzle. Where you need to go. It really is, and I love puzzles, so it's fun. Uh, now that you have this aqua foam, whatever you want to call that, seafoam green, it makes me want to get the gray one. <laughs> now that you have this one, and then that would be my first 
SCX24. And then we'd have all of them except the red deadbolt. <laughs> so we're literally just missing the red deadbolt yeah. and the gray. You know what we'll do? Let's link all of these down there. Just make it easy for people to I'll find them. I'll have one link for all of them. Abby will have one link. You hit the link and they all will pop up because we can make like a little I little believe the search. deadbolts are not in stock right now. And you guys let us know in the comments which is your favorite. You know, they're all about the same price. There are a couple that are like 10 or 15 bucks cheaper than others based on like lights. I don't yeah. think, I don't Basically, think the deadbolts. I think the deadbolts the cheapest they get. It's like 110 for the deadbolt. Which, at least when I got my original deadbolt, 10th scale deadbolt, uh, an, an SCX10, it was the cheapest SCX10 you could get. So the only other like quality brand 24th scale or tiny scale crawler that comes to mind to me is panda hobby right what else ready to run and what i'm saying there's others there's but... a couple others but i guess those the, what i mean by the thinking about the competition is when it comes to axial they're priced sometimes cheaper than the off-brand stuff well and like this one it's licensed through chevy, chevy yeah. yeah so, so you would think this and like, would be like... The, the jeep one we just did that's a rubicon it's licensed through jeep it's awesome. just based on licensing and that type of stuff you it's would expensive. think this would be like 180 bucks thank goodness it's not maybe no one would buy it then but they've held their prices on these 24th scales low and consistent and i'm and i'm not saying 100 bucks is cheap because it's not you know 100 dollars is a lot of money for us but you know, it's it's our channel, it's what we do. We buy and sell and that type of thing to keep new stuff coming. But yeah, we've held on to our 24 scale crawlers. Let's go to the sand. Oh, that looks good. I hear a helicopter. Keep cruising, girl. Don't look for the helicopter. Abby's, Abby's driving and looking for the helicopter at the same time. <laughs> while, while we all watch the super slow truck. So I know most of you probably watched the yellow Jeep crawling video, but if you didn't, I want you to look at these tracks. This is so cool. Even if you did, these are little raccoon tracks. Those are coyote tracks. And compared to the 24th scale crawler, Look at that. They are huge. They are huge. Massive. Abby and I have heard these things at night. And they oh, are... They run in packs. They're scary. They're the things that are made of nightmares. <laughs> oh, the sand got loose. There you go. Nice. Yeah, down. Oh, yeah. Let's get that out of there. <laughs> Looking for some more feedback. Do you guys like this spot? I think this is my favorite spot we've ever driven 24th scale vehicles. I think mine too, for outside. Definitely. Outside. I, we, think, I think I liked our cardboard course. I loved our cardboard course, but it just, we couldn't it leave it up. In the way. Yeah, it was in the room. But we have enough cardboard right now. I think we could make another course. We should do that. But the weather's warming up, so why would we do anything inside right yeah. now? I'm in a t shirt. <laughs> We have to be careful, guys, because the water here comes all the way up. Everywhere we're standing right now would be completely submerged after a rain or snow melts. And, uh, you know, we won't be able to access this all the time. And, oh my gosh, the cicadas are going to come. And when they do, I'm really worried about our videos because we have not been YouTubers during the return of the and cicadas. The big, the big batch. The yeah. big We've batch. We've had, you know, little annoying ones, but I guess we're supposed to get the big They're saying batch trillions yeah, will submerge, or emerge, emerge. And I am a little worried that for a couple months, you guys are all going to have to listen to the cicadas. Isn't it just kind of like an our like a in our area and some of the surrounding states? Well, I guess there's like it's not like nationwide. 20 states, 15 or 20 um, states this no. will affect. Really? So yeah, like people in Texas are not going to have to deal with this. Yeah. yeah. Florida, all the southern states, it's kind of in the uh northeastern area, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Even all the way up as uh, high as southern parts of New York, I think. Really? Yeah. Man. You are getting your new truck so wet and muddy. 
but the water cleans it right off. Look at that, guys. This, this gets my vote, strong vote for best looking SCX24. The Jeep is cool, but I think this is definitely the winner. And right here, stop for a second. You guys, can you see these little, there's four little holes in the bed. One, two, three, four. That's where that little roll cage would go, roll bar. And then the light, I think it's fake lights, of course. A light bar mounts up on top and it's all chrome. So it would look good, but we thought if we rolled it, we didn't want to scratch it up. Like Abby said, this, this might be the only time you guys see this one drive outside in the sand and mud and dirt. Because she wants it to be a shelf queen. And I don't blame her. Why am I struggling? Camera battery died there. Don't here, worry, let's... I didn't move. No, no, here, I'll move that stick. Come on! You can do it. There, you're getting it. The stick there. moving helps. <laughs> yeah. And here's another question for you guys. What What's your favorite scale to crawl? Because they have all different scales. There's like 24th-ish scale, right, something like that. High gear. high gear. There's a 10th scale. I think 10th scale is still probably the most popular. That's okay. It's part of the fun. That's part of the fun. When you get into a bind, trying to get around it, that really is part of the fun. I'll try to, try to move some of these sticks here. I think it's like this. Oh, you just went the other way. Uh, you're not gonna, you're not gonna get through all those like twigs. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Look at that loose sand. Oh my god. That's nice. You're rubbing your fender, your wheel well. There. Oh, you're just slowly moving, digging right in. That's cool. <laughs> that was a cool spot. I like this loose sand. It looks good in the sand too. You're just going right up the hill, aren't you? I'm just cruising okay, around. Okay, all right. I see you. I see you. where I can go. There's a nice little road over there. I see that. Oh, nice. Yeah, I just don't want to fall into the muck water. That's right. That's right. That's perfect road. I want to bring a tenth scale here. I think people would like to see that what should we bring should we buy a new one or should we bring back an old one you guys want to see an old 10th scale crawler on the channel again we keep a lot of our crawlers tell you what we need i don't think we have a single scx 10 3. we don't i don't think we have a single one yeah that's, a bad path, okay. that's okay you can power through uh oh little twigs they get those little twigs are the worst You've almost powered through it. That stick that I threw out of the way for you is now back in the way. Ah, you just went right under it. And we're back to the cool loose sand. Yeah. That's so cool. If we could like weed this, that would be a fun little spot to play with Amelia. Oh no, I don't, I don't see you moving. Here, go to the right, uh, here, there you go. That, that stick was holding you back. Nice. Welcome. I just got my favorite RC Sandy for you guys. For yeah. Of a video. It was a good video. Oh, it looks so good. It'll, go, it'll go down in history as a positive thing in 2021. I love these little scale crawlers. Me too. I love them. And if you're like me and you love these 24th scale, this whole world of crawling, leave this video a like. Leave a comment below. Tell us what your favorite small scale crawler is because i need to check it out if i haven't already because i love these <laughs> i just love them mm -hmm. i love them did i say i love them you you kind of like them <laughs> it's a good looking truck it really is man it's a good looking truck that people i built model cars as a kid that didn't look this good you know yep. mine looked like a monstrosity <laughs> like glue was dripping off <laughs> i'm just kidding they looked okay well for the fun that we've had in just a beautiful day of t-shirt weather, I want to thank the big guy upstairs. Life is good and uh, it's just awesome to be able to enjoy it. We're alive. Also want to thank our patron family members. You guys bought this truck, you guys support our channel in so many ways and we're so thankful for you guys. And uh, we'll have patron in this truck linked in the description box below, plus the whole Axial SCX24 lineup because you can't go wrong with one of these. That's right. You really can't. Um, before we go, I'll have the first time we drove down here in the creek bed with our Jeep Rubicon Axial SCX24 popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys over there. Bye!